and it has happened again. Another bad crash in Ben Salem sent a person to the hospital and shut down the busy street road during this morning's rush hour. As I'm News reporter Matt Petrillo shows us, investigators are still trying to figure out what happened. Well, Street Road here in Ben Salem is finally back open after being closed for several hours this morning. If you take a look, you can see those skid marks are still here, left behind from that crash. It's terrible, like it's a terrible accident. This crunched car in Big Rig collided this morning here at Street and Knights Road in Ben Salem. Glass shattered on the ground. The hood of the car essentially peeled off. Traffic held up for hours. It was crazy. It's scary. Eyewitnesses say the truck driver may have accelerated to make a yellow light while traveling down Street Road just as a woman in the car was making a right from Knights Road around 2 30 this morning. That's when the car became lodged under the truck. He drug her from Knights Road down, down by like 150 yards down to the Walgreens. That car was dragged that far. That far, yeah. The girl was in there hanging upside down. And you could see like the um, airbag deployed on her. The driver was rushed to a nearby hospital. Authorities have not yet released her name or condition, but people familiar with Street and Knights Road know it's a dangerous intersection. Just three weeks ago, a waitress from Clubhouse Diner was killed trying to cross Street Road. They should definitely slow down a little bit. And what might not be surprising to a lot of people is that the intersection here at Street and Knights Road in Ben Salem was named the most dangerous intersection in the country in 2014 by Time Magazine. Clearly there's a lot of work that has to be done to improve safety here in Ben Salem. Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.